going to be going over to Zion and we're going to decide if we go ahead and cook something so we can have something today and have a little bit of potatoes left over for tomorrow. What we're going to do today is we're going to have a chicken. Yay! We're going to have a big steak that I marinated and put it in there with some uh, Montreal, Montreal steak seasoning and some soy sauce and some, um, what was it? Can't think of it. Olive oil. And I let it marinate. That's all that's on it. And then I took a potato. This is a potato. It's huge. And I put some olive oil and I put some salt and pepper and I chopped up some bell pepper and some onion and I'm going to put it in some tin foil and wrap it up real tight with a little bit of butter and then we're going to let that cook down for about 45 minutes and I'm going to come back and show you how good it looks. See you in a little while. Okay everyone, potatoes are almost done so now we're going to put our steak on here. We have it on 450 and we're going to stick it on here and let it cook for a little while. We like our steaks medium rare, so we're not going to cook it that long. Even though it is thicker, so it'll take a little bit longer. All right, Kim, tell me, give me a recap why we're cooking today on Moab. Of how you felt everything worked out in Moab as far as arches, canyon land, and all the surrounding areas, including the uh, uh, the town of Moab. I liked it. I thought it was beautiful. I enjoyed the best one, though. I mean, I enjoyed arches a lot more than I liked canyon land. So if you had your choices and you only had a one day uh, time go, to be there? I would go to Arches. Okay. And what about the town of Moab? It's got like everything cool that you need? Yeah, it's really kind of a cool little town. I kind of like it. It had a nice little home center there that had everything. It had a dollar store. Uh, there's one uh, uh, it's liquor store. It's a nice <laughs> clean little store. I mean, it's town. It's a nice little touristy town. It's a cute little town. Yeah, it's got a nice little couple of tourist places to eat and stuff like that um, but th there's a few tourist shops in there that you get in you get your t-shirts your hats and all the other normal stuff but all in all Moab is Moab there is a Burger King there is a McDonald's so yep. you can always get by but the surrounding areas there's plenty of places to hike plenty of places oh, yeah. to uh, Boot dog. Uh, plenty mountain places. bike off-road razor things or whatever all right and the uh, BLM land, there's plenty of BLM land to uh, go out and take your rig and explore. We saw a lot of people out there with um, cars throwing up a little bit of, of a tent and were happy as could be. Yep. And then we saw rigs uh, bigger than ours out there, but not much. But uh, <laughs> it was all in all, it was a good time out there camping. We're yep. glad we went. Uh, we're down here in... Uh, uh, Hurricane Utah. Uh, we're at the. Uh, can you remember the RV park? We'll, we'll do a little special on this RV park that we're at and give you a little um, comments on it. But we're going to get ready. We're going to take today, do laundry and clean up. Everybody get a good bath. Uh, get this red dirt out of everything. That's right. And uh, go find some more dirt, I guess. But <laughs> to, we are going to stock up on supplies, do a little odds and ends stuff that we need to do check everything else uh, we're gonna stay here for two days just for the fact that we need power because it's gonna get hot but uh, right so maybe later today we're gonna go and search of some more BLM land to tell everybody about that you can camp for free do some searching around here but uh, here it is another Wednesday cooking with Kim in the RV kitchen give her a thumbs up when you, if you get time out. Take a minute, give her a thumbs up. Please comment. We're not doing chicken. So we're going to make a nice little hearty meal here to get some energy up. We're both losing weight really good. I got two more pounds before I hit my goal. So I'm getting to where I want to be before I get up into the great Northwest. But uh, all in all, it's good. So we'll check back with you when these steaks are done. Okay, and if you all haven't seen in our previous videos, this is a char broil grill. Takes the little propane bottles real easy to put in one of the bays, slide in and out. Cleanup's easy, easy to set up. It's got a nice little thermostat on top. And as you can see, that's a good piece of Angus beef right there. We're gonna be meat eaters today. It grills good, there's plenty of room. That's a big steak there. So you can do a lot of things with this grill here nice and easy 
great for the RV, great for camping. Okay, we're ready to eat. All right, everybody, let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, we're gonna be eating good tonight. This is camping for how much? These were on sale, this one we paid $6.34 for this. Not bad, That's huh? not bad. For a oh, bone in. Um, is that ribeye or New yeah, York strip? New York strip. New York strip. All right, let's go inside, cut this thing up. I'm hungry. All right, back into Kim's kitchen where you will see her every Wednesday, good Lord willing, cooking me something to eat and herself too. And we're gonna take some of these potatoes and we'll do the rest of them tomorrow. We'll do them and um, kind of pan fry them again and do some hash browns out of them or something. Oh yeah. But Daryl likes him, so that's all he's getting. And I mean, that's really, there was a potato, there's two small potatoes, I should say. Yep, these make good hash browns in the morning if you wanna put them back in there. Fry them up with a couple eggs. But this is what we're having for Wednesday. We're having yep. steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes. In Hurricane um, Utah, right outside of Zion. It's really a pretty place. So stay tuned. Oh, look. I can tell you right now what the name of this place is Willow Wind. Willow Wind RV Park. RV Park. Right on Highway 9. We're gonna give it a try so far. The Wi-Fi sucks. Very much so. But uh, it's well manicured lawns. Yeah, it's nice. Lots of trees, but it's blocking my satellite view. They do have cable, comes included. But uh, as you can see, they're, you're at least not standing on top of each other, so that's pretty good. All our V parks are different. Yeah. So we're gonna eat this up. Hope you all have a good day. Please like and subscribe and comment down there, please. What do you want Kim to cook next? Come on, somebody give her some ideas. And don't you dare say chicken. Because <laughs> it won't be happening. All right, so we're going to... Huh? We're going to what? We're going to see y'all after a while. No, we're going to stop the madness. Uh, and start the adventure. <laughs>